Hello everybody and welcome back to another Deep Ogre review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Transformers uh, Generations Legacy Velocitron Scourge from RID 2001, aka Nemesis Prime. You'll be call I'll be calling him Nemesis Prime throughout this video. If that annoys you, suck it up, buttercup. Nobody cares. Anyway, for this guy, I just got him today a couple hours ago and this guy's fucking amazing. He is tighter. Solid, uh, more solid, sorry. Um, I like the paint more than Laser Prime, which obviously this is a very color of. Um, I just really needed a black Optimus Prime, a black and teal Nemesis Prime in my collection, and I finally have it, and it's based off of one of my favorite molds. Uh, this is, this is in the top five of this year. This big, blah, blah, this figure is... In the top five. This guy is great. But uh, without further ado, I'll go over the trailer and his accessories, which I already kind of did in the Laser Prime video. But now I do shorter reviews, so let's just get right into this guy. So first, I'll take a look at the trailer, the tanker trailer for gasoline, oil, whatever these things carry. But again, mechanical detail on this thing. As I said in my Laser Prime review, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You get a lot of screw detail, line detail, bullet hole, or not bullet hole detail, but dent detail, just all jam packed within this thing on both sides. Beautiful. I like the silver way more than I liked the plain gray from the original. I prefer this here. I like the red for the more mechanical detail on here. But for the overall sh er, body, I like the metallic silver of Scourges better, or Scourges better. On the top, it's the exact same mold, obviously. So, yeah, it, it, boom. That's, that's basically it for the trailer. But, obviously, that's not it for the trailer. It can transform into a battle station. And boom, boom. I think, fold this in, and then do this, nope, 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 I can't remember how this thing works, mm, I think it's like that, maybe, maybe, eh, it'll work for now, but, boom, you have Scourge's Battle Station, and you can stand, oh right, flip that little panel down, and you can stand, and man, his little tiny little battle station like the little man he is defending the Decepticons or himself from the Autobots and Optimus Prime so the, yeah that's pretty much it for the trailer this does detach that wasn't supposed to detach from there it has oh boy okay this is on a swivel and it can detach so if you wanted to can detach this little gun piece Going into the other accessories, his weapons, of course, you have the same battle axe that you got with Laser Prime. As you can see, I got like halfway through painting or sharpening this and gave up. Um, but very similar because it's the exact same mold, Maddie, you fucking idiot. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit more sparkly. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a little bit of metallic flaking in it. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Of course, it still folds up. And for the sword, it's the exact same. Kind of this pinkish color with that nice metallic flaking in it. Same mold as the blue one that came with Laser Prime. So there's that. And last but not least, in the chest is the final accessory. You get the Dark Matrix of Leadership. I can't remember what they called it. I think it was just the Dark Matrix or something like that. But, boom. Same mold, same sculpt as Laser Primes, just with less paint, which I'm kind of okay with. Not really, but I'll live. It's going to be in his chest most of the time, so whatever. I went over... I, like, delved deep into this Matrix sculpt when I did my original review, which, weird, but alright. But obviously it just goes right back in the chest, and you close that. It's harder to see than it is on laser prime because laser prime is like just very clear kind of blue 
but on here it is very not so clear and you get more of that metallic sheen or metallic flaking that you get in the weapons also right here without further ado I'll just get into this guy because he's right here this guy's head sculpt is the exact same but it just pops a little bit more because they didn't paint in any of the light piping which I'll put up a picture of me with the light piping here right now that should be popping up right now come on editing Maddie you got this um, but just like the teal flakes or not flakes but the teal stripe right here on these crowns and down by the face mask beautiful 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 I love the combination of teal and black on this guy nice teal lining on the chest Nice teal right here, metallic, metallic silver for the grill. You got that upside down logo, uh, G2 Decepticon logo right there. Teal for the little rocket boosters, and of course, these do open as they did on uh, Laser Prime. Very, very nice. Damn, this guy's detail is just still great, still fantastic. You get more of that vent detail right there black forearms again same legs as Earthrise Optimus or same thigh pieces I mean very very slick I love love this fucking uh, pen stripe detail right here just beautiful beautiful if you didn't know I go to a lot of classic car shows hot rod car shows and pen striping just mm, beautiful beautiful nice teal for the kneecaps and uh other than that it's just black nothing even on the toes wait yeah nothing on the toes but the color combination as little color as there is it's just black gray teal and red um just the color combination does a lot for this guy honestly just just beautiful just perfect Mwah. For articulation, you get a ball joint up at the head he, and a hinge due to transformation. But with that hinge, without it making it look horrible, you can look up about that far, down about that far. A little bit of tilt and obviously swivel. Arm can go up about that far. Not really farther. Arm can go up about that far. If you move this, he can go up a little bit further. If you move it out, he can go full 360 ratchet joint. For some reason, it's ratcheted. Elbow swivel. Single jointed elbow about 90 degrees. Waist swivel. Beautiful spread. Thigh swivel. Single jointed knee, but can get a little past 90. And beautiful, beautiful ankle rocker with some toe bend for transformation, of course. And for comparison, here he is next to the other two Velocitron figures I have. Had Cosmos. We'll get into that in a future video. Um, but... These guys look great next to each other. I can't imagine these guys getting in a race and Scorch trying to do some dirty work, underhanding them, fucking, like, putting oil down on the road, making burnout burnout. Um, just amazing, amazing ideas I have right in my head, and I'm not going to spoil anything because that's for an upcoming project. And for comparison, here he is next to the figure he show he shares the body mold with, the Transformers Legacy Laser Prime review up on the channel if you want to go check that out, and the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. And lastly but not leastly, here he is next to the Transformers Legacy. Uh, I almost called him Scourge. Jesus Christ! Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip and the Transformers. Uh, the, the, the Last Night Megatron. Uh, just for shits and giggles. I don't know why. So for my semi-final semi thoughts on this robot mode, it's great. I love Laser Prime. I said it overtook Earthrise Optimus Prime, which that figure doesn't. This figure does. This guy's just great. He's tighter. He feels better to hold and handle and transform than uh, Laser Prime. Um, but... We'll get into that later when we get into alt mode, which we'll do right now. Wow. Great transition. My camera was not focusing. What the fuck?
but <sighs> for this truck mode after the transformation that personally I don't really like I have maybe transformed uh, this mold three times and I've had it for the past six months and usually that doesn't happen um, but I just don't like the transformation plain and simple but this truck mode beautiful I love it taking the train tanker off because we already talked about it you can see more of that pinstriping from the legs obviously on both sides and more of that beautiful pinstriping on the shoulders, red headlights, silver, very nice great er, um, grill detail right there. Teal lights up on top, you got the horns, you got the smokestacks, you got the steps right there, you got the door, you got the door handle. Just a lot of detail on this thing that I don't think, you know, Hasbro really necessarily needed to have to make this good, or to make this look good. Um, but more pinstriping right there just it really pops it's all black and red and teal but it really pops i really love the teal uh, teal is my favorite color so that's probably why and this color combination is some of my favorite color combinations but this thing just looks absolutely badass it doesn't roll because it's all lopsided on mine i tried to straighten it out and it still won't roll very well so nah whatever who cares this truck mode is still amazing so yeah, let's get into my final thoughts. And for my final thoughts, this guy's fantastic. He just plays with better than uh, Laser Prime does, and he looks better, and he feels better, and I, he just does everything better. What can I say? I like I like my Nemesis Prime. This color scheme really grabs my attention, and I cannot wait to get Override. And another Cosmos um, to complete my Velocitron and Blur and Blur uh, to complete my Velocitron collection. And this guy just brings me one step closer. He's amazing. Love him dearly. I'm going to give this guy a solid 10 out of 10. He's great. Mwah, 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 mwah. Perfect. Uh, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you are new and you haven't already, check out that subscription button what the fuck where was i going with that i don't know um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace